I keep find that some people, like I said, it's the music industry or actors, you think, how did that person fucking raise to the top so quick? Look at Barack Obama. First I heard of him, he was a senator from Illinois, yeah. Chicago. He was on Oprah Winfrey, then fucking a couple of years later, he's president. Normally people are in Congress or yeah. work their way up for years and years before they become president. He just popped up out of nowhere. The, the American president's almost like a movie mm-hmm. uh, role. That's why they hate Trump, because he doesn't owe anyone anything. He doesn't play the game. Yeah. But it's like, fuck, he's going to get in again. How do we stop? him let's make fake russia collusion let's make this let's bring up yeah. stormy daniels again let's bring up all these other stuff that's all fucking fake let's bring up oh he inflated his property values it's like the shit they're doing to him has never been done to fucking anyone yeah it's because it's there's always people that go along with mm-hmm. it that that's how these things I keep... find that some people like it's the music industry or actors you think how did that person fucking raise to the top so quick look at barack obama First I heard of him, he was a senator from Illinois, yeah. Chicago. He was on Oprah Winfrey, then fucking a couple of years later he's president. Normally people are in Congress or yeah. work their way up for years and years before they become president. He just popped up out of nowhere. This black guy, next thing he's president, it's like, huh, who did he owe favours to or did shit for where if you do this and do that, we'll make you president? No, the, it's <laughs> purely uh, the, he was... It's it's the same. The, the American president's almost like a movie mm-hmm. uh, role. That's why they hate Trump because he doesn't owe anyone anything. He doesn't play the yeah. game. But it's like fuck. He's going to get in again. How do we stop him? Yeah. Let's make fake Russia collusion. Let's make this. Let's bring up yeah. Stormy Daniels again. Let's bring up all these other stuff that's all fucking fake. Let's bring up. Oh, he inflated his property values. It's like the shit they're doing to him. Has never been done to fucking anyone or or to stop him. And they went on about Putin rigging elections. But I'm thinking, how can you sit there saying that when what you're doing to this guy to get him out of being president? Yeah. Because at the moment, it looks like he's going to get in. I'm just worried the only thing they got left would be to get some nutter to assassinate him. Because they're thinking they can't stop him any other way. He's beaten all these charges because there are fucking trumped up charges of bullshit. And they're just trying to tie him up in courts, trying to get rid of his money. Even that one guy, who's that Kevin O'Leary, who's an investor, he has the worst thing for New York doing this. He goes, all us property people inflate our prices. It's been going on since a dawn of yeah. time. How's that a crime? No one got fucking hurt. The banks got the money back. All the banks said they'll do business with Trump again at the drop of a hat. Yeah. So it's like, come on. It's like, you can see what they're doing here to try get him out. But the sad thing is, what the, I think people are slowly seeing through it. They're seeing through the bullshit. That's like when he mentioned bloodbath for the auto thing. They're coming out like, oh, it's a bloodbath. He's going to cause problems and kill people if he doesn't become president. Like, people are over your fucking bullshit. So every time they go to do something to him, it just makes him more popular. So, And I think, too, uh, apparently a lot of the, the, the black voters are now oh, yeah, they're re- swung re- his re- way. relating to him, going, mm-hmm. oh, it doesn't matter... Um, you know, the, the, he must be a, um, a legit guy because uh, uh-huh. all the all the people that um, harass us and harass in, in the past, him, yeah, 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 yeah. So mm-hmm. uh, that's the thing with the the people that are running it over there. They they're, they're that out of touch with oh. the common person that they, they don't know. They live in these bubbles. Mm-hmm. Of, um, it's like you can't keep playing, you know, gender politics and. All this sort of stuff, you know, doing the racial politics, and it's just like ridiculous. It's, oh, but the, when you watch the scene in MSNBC, I'm thinking, how can they be allowed to even talk shit like that? Yeah, it's like it's just fake news. The whole taking yeah. these words out of context is just like unbelievable. It's like, yeah. Now I even like too when he's given a speech, like when he gave that speech after the court case, and he started talking about. He goes, the judge is corrupt and he's valued at 18 million. CNN and they're like, okay, we're going to cut away there. Yeah. We don't need to listen to more of this guy's lies and blah. It's like, why not just let him talk? Let the let your viewers make up the minds for themselves. Yeah. We'll come back if he has something to say that's, you know, but we're not going to sit here and listen to that garbage. It's like, you're a fucking reporter. Who are you to say what people yeah. can listen to? That's fucking ridiculous. But yet... Yeah people think that way and it's hard to believe that people are that dumb and stupid to actually think like that yeah it's incredible yeah no it's um um robert kennedy with his campaign Mm -hmm. he just goes on to podcasts yeah because he said he goes oh we worked out that um people below a certain age don't get their news from Mm -hmm. um 
TV. The TV. So he goes on there and he just keeps going around doing all these well, things. Yeah, like I said he'd get more views on Joe Rogan than he would ever get on the news saying something. So, but, but yeah, he said that they, like they they he didn't do it. it the 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 um the super pack thing put the ad in the Super Bowl. Oh yeah. But he said that's that was the first time mm -hmm. like boomers ever found out that he was running because yeah because on the news the news won't ever show no. him because and people too it's like they can have a big impact because even if you're not really up people know the Kennedy name and politics you know from JFK and just the Kennedys so people will be like oh let me look into this because he's got the name yeah. and stuff so but do you think okay like you're you're saying these TV stations whatever their names mm -hmm. they're doing news but they're not actually telling you that no. there's this guy that's, that's got like a selective news isn't yeah, it? yeah yeah so so anyone like, why not just give everyone the choice report on trump report on him yeah and let people that's how it used to be people are smart enough to make up their own minds and own, it's like they're filtering what they want yeah they're yeah. putting their narrative on it yeah to the point where they won't even play what trump says or something but yet they played that bit about the bloodbath and stopped it. They didn't have the bit about where he's talking about the auto industry. Yeah. And then you have Pelosi and all them on there. Did you hear that? What's he mean by that? Is he going to kill people? Is there going to be a bloodbath? And then that one guy on CNN on the breakfast show is like, come on, he said it was meant to be the auto industry. That's bullshit. Yeah. He knows exactly what it means that he's going to have a bloodbath and start riots and stuff if it doesn't become president i'm like how can you sit there saying that when you know it's fucking bullshit but they all get those talking points you ever watch when those people splice together cnn nbc and all those stations <clears throat> every news reporter you'd think was yeah reading from the same script yeah there'd be like 50 of them yeah i know and word for word they're saying yeah. the same fucking thing <laughs> it's yeah. like crazy they're like this must be the talking points Here's your talking points for today. You got to use yeah. these words in these sentences somewhere throughout the whole yeah. news thing, and just keep repeating it. Yeah. So <laughs> if you if you said to someone, okay, I get my information about the world from you know uh, mainstream TV stations, mm -hmm. Facebook, and you know just say you just they said I oh, just do do that and maybe read a paper. Well, they might might only be getting. Mm -hmm. 50% of what's happening in the world yeah. and of that 50% they're only getting uh, a, 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 a one-sided a, a oh, yeah. clearly that's biased why I like watching view. I like watching Fox but then I watch CNN because I watch a Trump speech on Fox and then you watch it on CNN and like I said the way they've chopped it and edited it it's like yeah. it's only a quarter of the speech doing like the suit there thing yeah. you know and then it'll be like I like watching the other one too um, Newsmax Yep. It's sometimes interesting or Sky News. So I try and watch all of them. That way I said, you're just funny when you see the actual interviews and then you see the yep. edited version. You're like, fuck me dead. But like you said, some people will just stick to CNN and that's all they know. Because remember, after this, how many people didn't even know about that Hunter laptop? And they said, oh, if we had a known or that, we mightn't have voted for yeah. Biden. Like, I'm thinking, how could you not know? Yeah. I mean, how, what, what world do you live in where you didn't even hear about that? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, fuck <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's, it's crazy. Um, yeah, I'm just even. Yeah, no, I don't even get me get me going. <laughs>